So this is a quick video about the Saab 95 new generation and the aftermarket unit that you can put in it. Let's turn it on and I'll show you how, how quick it is to boot up. Now I haven't started the car today, so this is a, a cold start. So let's just uh, hit the button. So it will come to the dashboard. I've got the Agama launcher because I quite like it. It has a Saab logo on it. Um, what's it like to live with? Well, hit radio if you want to listen to the radio. Nice and easy. Then you have navigation, uh, which will be whatever app that you've decided to go for. I've gone for Waze because that is my app of choice, but you can use Google Maps or TomTom or Copilot or whatever it is that you uh, you prefer to use. Um, and it's got it's very very accurate from a uh, navigation perspective. Spotify is installed so that I can listen to my music. You can use YouTube Music or whatever else, what, Amazon Music, whatever app you want to use, you can install on here, obviously. And those apps allow you to download the music to this unit so you don't need to be online. So it can be used completely offline. The same with the uh, navigation for that matter. You don't need to be online for those, although it does obviously help if you are uh, because you get things like speed cameras and police notifications and you know traffic etc if you are online so uh, bluetooth streaming of course is uh, is a given that's something that you have uh other things that are interesting about this unit are you know if you stick the car into reverse um obviously you have a reverse camera but more interestingly is the fact that the canvas is connected and will show you what sensor individually is close to something, which is very interesting because uh, the actual reverse sensor display on my dashboard will only show it as one block. So I've increased the information I receive by installing this unit. The other thing that the canvas does, apart from obviously allowing you to use your steering wheel controls, is if I open the door, it's showing me uh, that the doors open and it will do the same for all of the other doors um, in the car as well. And of course, down here we have our climate control. And if I change this, then you can see it is um, changing on uh, on the screen as well. So, it, uh, you know, it, this unit is awesome. So it was made for the Opel Insignia because this car is practically an Opel Insignia under the hood. Um, all of these functionalities work. Now there's one thing that's different from the Opel Insignia and that is these buttons here. So even though this DVD player does work, these buttons don't do anything anymore and there's nothing you can do to program them in. You don't really need them because everything that you need is on the actual screen itself and the buttons that matter are down here which are your um, climate controls and your heated seats and all of that stuff still works and shows on the screen if you press any of these buttons they don't do anything unfortunately that's uh, that's the downside of this unit some of the other frequently asked questions i have regarding this particular android unit is dependent on the vehicle that it's going in so if you have a heads-up display yes it's going to work fine um you won't get your navigation coming up through the heads up display anymore, but everything else is still gonna function exactly as it did. If you have the green screened um, basic non-navigation unit, that's fine. This will swap out for that unit. If you have the navigation unit, which is what I had, yes, it's gonna fit in and work perfectly fine. If you have the Harman Kardon, um, you know, top end sound system for this car. Yep, that's gonna work just fine. It's same as if you don't, it will just work. Um, so it does function perfectly fine in all of those circumstances. When you uh, switch off your car, so if I turn off the engine, the unit will stay on and it will stay on, I think for something like one minute and then it will switch off. Or as soon as you open the door, It will, it will power off. Um, so that, that's basically how it, it is. It is a good unit. You, um, you do have access uh, to the USB. 
in your center console this is still connected to uh, to this unit so you can plug things in like USB sticks etc and you can see I've also got a modem in here as well and the modem is so that I have internet access all the time on my uh, on my head unit you don't need to have that uh, you can just share the internet connection on your phone if you want it to be online but that's just something that I do but all in all uh, it's a great upgrade I am gonna have a video um, on how to install this uh, a little bit later does involve one annoying thing well there's there's two annoying things with installing it the first is actually getting this trim off it's just a ball ache uh, because it's hard to get off whilst the steering wheel is attached but it can be done and secondly the screen itself the original one is screwed in place but because this unit is made for the voxel insignia the fittings are different so you actually have to glue the screen onto this trim but apart from that everything else just pushes in and screws in and it's plug and play like there's no faffing about there's no wires to cut none of that you just literally use all the adapters that come with it and plug it in and and, and that's it if you have any questions about this ask i will happily uh, answer them for you until then i will i will put a video up of uh, a recording that i made of installing it uh, at some point in the near future